So, I'm thinking I want to head back to here. I have some new events, but I need to make my way back. Oh, really? Okay, I didn't know that. So if I want these, I have to do something for them. Okay, well, I'm up here, so let me let me do that. Oh, it now has the little sign next to it. I see. All right. So. All right. I don't have a lot of build points left, so I'm wagering I should lay off that sort of activity until a little later, because I'm really low. You know what? I haven't fought anybody today, and I'm feeling like I have the urge to murder. He says, walking into something that will TPK him undoubtedly, <laughs> and he hasn't saved recently. Oh, kobolds. Oh no. Poor little guys. Kill the flame shaman first. Kobolds. <laughs> Party music for everyone. Mary, come on, you're not gonna miss again. There we go. Problem solved. Sorry, kobolds. You had it coming. Yes, we're collecting all of it. All of it this time. We're heading back to town, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> hey, at least it stopped raining. <laughs> it is done. Yeah, those poor, poor kobolds. Wagering they didn't uh, quite expect that uh, level of danger on the road. I need to catch my breath. Ah, oh. everyone's fatigued. Oh, we'll try to avoid this one. Hooray! A rest is in order. Yes, I know, you're all tired. No. <laughs> no sleeping. <laughs> oh, is the tavern built? Oh, that's nice. Well, right now we're going to the throne room because we need to rest. Oh, boy. So, so far, I've found the kingdom management to be interesting. I'm just kind of not sure what exactly I'm getting out of it just yet. Um, I think, uh, for the most part, I'm... Uh, will our work automatically here, too? Yes, it will. All right. Um... I think for the most part I'm interested to see how the kingdom management enhances play, right? Uh, if I'm going to do all this work of managing my kingdom and figuring out how it works, what's the payoff? Um, I know that there was, uh, according to the feedback we got from the original Adventure Path, the kingdom management did allow you to do some things that were pretty ridiculously good if you knew how to take advantage of them. Um, yeah, I, I, I hope it's more than just you do it because the game says you have to as part of the gameplay. Um, 
What I'd like to be able to see is kind of, you know, you're doing it because doing it uh, really uh, helps, you know, and enhances your play experience, right? It gives you better options to buy stuff and interesting companions and opens up storylines uh, as opposed to just kind of, if you don't do this, the game will come to an end. Yeah, spamming shrines was the uh, was the was the way to go in the original, if I recall correctly. <laughs> All right, so it doesn't actually look like I have much to do here. I can do this, which it seems like I might want to do. It will allow a bunch of things to kind of clear up. sure what was going on there. Hold on. Oh, he's off doing the Mysterious Weed, and I need him to do that. So I can't until he comes back from the Mysterious Weed encounter, which will end in 16 days. Oh. <laughs> ah. Everyone's busy. Have any other projects that uh, I can do? Rebuild the temple. Now I don't have, ins I have insufficient build points. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking the right answer right now is just to explore more. I've got a couple locations on the map that have popped up that seem worth investigating. I'm not seeing much else here to do. I appreciate that Ember plays in my throne room. That's, that's very nice. I like that quite a bit. Keep that dumb dog out here. Nobody wants that guy. Send him away. Yeah, I'm worried about story events popping up and not having any build points to deal with them if they require something like that. If your kingdom is destroyed, the game will be over. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> All right. Things continue to be built, including this incredibly ostentatious statue. That's nice. Oh, let's sell some of the basic stuff. There it is. Goodbye. Looks like we have a masterwork like crossbow. We'll get rid of that as well. What's this? Oh yes, this is my crowbar and rope. Critical adventuring supplies. Alright. You know what? I don't... It makes me wonder. Vertle here, tell me about yourself. He burned off his beard. What a poor bastard. <laughs> no stopping Just now. making sure my merchant didn't have a quest for me, because uh, when merchants have quests, you go do them, because then they sell you better stuff. Pro tip for the day. Do merchant quests. Alright, we'll make our way back out. I'm still leaving that pile of books. Still not taking it.
All right, so making my way back out here. Uh, let me see what time it is. All right, we've been streaming for closing in on a while. I have a new event. What's the new event? I'm not seeing any new events. Unless it's in my new town. Is that how that works? I'm a little confused. I'm not seeing a new event. Told me there was a new event, but I'm not seeing one. I'm confused. That is true. I did build a tavern. I mean... It would be irresponsible of me not to visit the tavern. I mean, not that I'm going to drink. I just should go and see if there's any wizards there with quests. That's how this works. <clears throat> Lots of citizens. Manorial Eight Eyes has moved here. That's nice. Hmm. Okay. Nothing new on him. Alina, the... Barkeep? Tavern owner? We'll go chat with her. What'd she have? Ale. Handy to have on the road. All right, food and drink, certainly very handy. All right, from the River Kingdoms, that's nice. Good to have locals running your business. I'm already kind of a carpet-bagging baron. The beer mug in. All right, yeah. Well, came up with something. <laughs> yeah, the River Kingdoms is a is a is an interesting place. Um, just uh, town well. All right, well, there's plenty of sacks of loot and whatnot here. Not seeing anything else of interest to talk to. Looks like a Miri is here. I mean, that's not really a surprise. Mary seems happy, at least for the time being. This looks like it goes up to a different room. Alright, well, it looks like this is where Jaythal is staying. Um, I'm sure I'll listen to her story at some point in time. I really should go through all of my uh, companions and check them for side quests. I have not done so just yet. It is done. How about the Baron? I'm just in your room now. How are you? I know you rented this, but I'm just going to go take a look. Uh, that's some nice stuff you got there. <laughs> Creepy Baron. Some some nice books. Diamond dust, huh? Seems pretty valuable. There's a locked door in this tavern. I'm offended. Scroll of Expeditious Retreat. 
I'm kind of looking forward to getting to this point playing my rogue because I'm stealing everything. So you're like, yep, yeah, Baron, gotta take your stuff, sorry. Yep, no, sorry, Baron. Baron needs your stuff, yep, sorry. That's how this works, Baron needs it, sorry. They call him Baron Sticky Fingers. Number of folks in chat have mentioned that I should investigate the town well. I haven't even seen the town well. Like, that doesn't look like a well. That's the throne room, that's a house, that's a house. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, that leads to the tavern. That's how you get to the tavern. That's nice to know. In the back here are some horses. I haven't really seen anything interesting here. <laughs> the theory is is that the, the common folk are leaving it things out and available for me to take because they know I'm going to stop by to take stuff. <laughs> is this like uh, having a fake wallet in your pocket when you're sure you're about to be pickpocketed? Where you like... Uh... Well, I found the well, but uh, it doesn't appear that there's anything going Seems to me like some folks are talking about spoilers. Dirty, rotten spoilers. At least I think that's the one. Yeah, it's gotta be. Alright, well, wasn't anything really that useful there. So I guess I'm heading back out to the map. There was a location right nearby that looked of interest that I suppose I should probably go investigate. It got revealed in one of my most recent kind of dialogues. I think it might have to do with the curse, so maybe I should go take a look at that. That's me, just the weird baron that comes Onwards. and picks your pockets. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Just here for your stuff. You would think after a while in, in games like this, people just get used to it. They just kind of assume you're there to take their stuff. So let's see, I've got the bald hilltop. Um, I'm beginning to think that this might be a place that I really need to visit. Um, it seems to me that this might have something to do with the curse. And it is right nearby, so I think I'll go inside and take a look. Now, I did deal with some uh, bad or mysterious hilltop recently uh, that cursed my entire party, but apparently this is not the same thing. So I don't know what I'm dealing with here. It's foggy and mysterious. Not much of one for going in directly. Oh, what's this? It is done. Old stone monument of some sort. Ooh, fireflies. Nice environmental effect. Well, 
this weather sure isn't making it any easier. Just back to the intro. All right, I've walked in a circle. No stopping now. Yeah, it seems to me like there might not be anything going on here. At least I'm running out of map to explore. So this bald hilltop appeared on my map, but there doesn't appear yet to be anything to do here just yet. Well, on the upside, I'm uncovering the map. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be anything here. All right. I have come too early. They put a spot on the map and I went to explore it and there's nothing there. <laughs> All right, so that's been done. is taking care of the ancient curse. Here it is. Okay. So it seems like this will fail in 24 days and 14 hours. But it doesn't appear that anything is happening just yet. No stopping now. Right now it's just an eerie hilltop. I have 24 days before anything bad happens. And it's raining terribly here, so I'm going to leave. It is done. Yeah, I'm gathering that. Uh, it seems like whatever bad thing is about to happen isn't quite uh, ready to happen yet. I appreciate the heads up, folks. Uh, make sure to keep the spoilers to a minimum, though. This is my first playthrough, so I don't want everything uh, spoiled for me. Interesting. Fort across the Skunk River? Sure, let's take a look. There might be bandits here. I think it does, but I can't seem to find what the thing is with my uh, capital's red exclamation mark. I'm going to take another look after I finish with this uh, particular encounter. Assuming this isn't some huge, gigantic endeavor. Interesting. So, this looks very similar to one of the very early demo pieces we played. That had trolls. <laughs> Back when uh, this game was first being pitched to us, one of the first things they did and they did it incredibly fast, was they built uh, a, basically a demo reel, a small piece of adventure for us to play around with. And uh, it involved fording a couple rivers, and I believe there was a wagon that was overturned, and I think there were trolls. Well, that doesn't seem like there was much of anything. I feel like I may have missed stuff. Let me wander off into the woods here and see if there's anything interesting. I was like, if there's bandits, I'm not seeing Let any, but there well. aren't. There are nasty wolves. Oh, hey. 
fighting kobolds, which we will just uh, go ahead and solve up all these problems. Serves you right. Now, uh, poor kobolds. Poor wolves. Rich me. Oh, that's true. That demo was uh, available at PaizoCon. That's right. What's this? Ooh, a recipe. All right. I'll go ahead and take that. And we'll go ahead and learn that recipe right away, too. No sense in letting it sit around. All right. Well, that didn't really cost me much. Suffice to say, this doesn't look like that encounter. I don't see a broken down wagon or anything like that, so... This apparently isn't the same thing. Or some kobolds and some wolves. Let's see if there's anything else. No, oh, it's possible you saw empty spell slots. I may not have uh, fully uh, prepared everything. Oh yeah, look at that! <laughs> I forgot I hit Paladin level high enough to uh, have spells and I haven't prepared any. That's unfortunate. Oh, let's see here. Blessed Weapon is certainly very useful, but probably more useful at higher levels. Oh, I'm tempted to go with some really common stuff here. What's Challenge Evil do? Hmm, not bad. Uh, Lesser Restoration is great, and we're going to go ahead and take one of those. Uh, just because it's good to have. Thanks for the catch, chat! I forgot that Thulkin gets spells. Yeah, plus weapon's kind of useful in some situations, but to be honest, I'm not sure right now that it has much use. Um, I'm tempted to take something like uh, Divine Favor uh, just because it is a luck bonus and I can use it to really stack on for a fight. What's the Veil do? Ah, it's good against Undead. Grace... Mm. Oh, yeah, we're going to go with Divine Favor as the other spell. That's fine. Okay. There we go. Good catch. Not that I have those prepared, but hey, there you go. Yeah, I don't mind forcing enemies to attack the Paladin, but until I think I've got my AC up to tanking levels, I'm a little worried that that just results in me we being cannot beat Oh, defeated. hey, a bunch more wolves. And something. You deserved it. Oh, hey. No. Alpha Wolf. Last wishes. New target. Uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead and have her cast. Ooh, that's a big puppy. Should go down in just a second. Oh, let's go ahead and throw some bardic music in here. Why not? Oh, hey! That wolf exploded! Alright, looks like I took care of the wolves. Go ahead and skin them. Collect all. There we go. Alright. Old tree stump. What's this? Well, I'll definitely take a ring. What is it? Ring of protection plus one. Certainly very useful. Who isn't wearing one? Let's see, Amiri has one. I am certainly already wearing one. Uh, 
Oh, let's go ahead and get his terrible, terrible AC up one more. Just so it's, well, still terrible. It is done! Alright, explore some more of the countryside here. Take in some of this natural splendor. Alright, so it looks like there were wolves and some kobolds up there. Let's see if there's anything down on this side. No stopping now. Yeah, it doesn't look like much. This map is mostly empty. Seems like the sort of thing that at some point in time later there's bandits who camp here. Might also be the sort of thing that depending on the time of day, they're either here or they're not. Yeah, not really seeing anything. Pretty tame. One last corner of the map to go check out, then I'm heading back up to look around the map some more. Before, uh, before I started streaming these, I was just recording them and then uh, editing them and putting them up on YouTube. That's how the first handful of these were made. No stopping um, now. This is the sort of part that, typically speaking, I would cut out. Oh, hey. I saw something over there. More you wolves. Be victorious. Oh, we're getting flanked. Kill them quick before they eat Tristan. Flee from them, Tristan, before they kill you. Flee from them, Octavia, before they kill you too. Come on now. There we go. Problem solved. Oh, hey. Octavia got knocked down. She's in eggs. No. Go ahead and heal everybody up for a bunch. Oh, sure. This is why uh, giving him that amulet to channel uh, really helps, because now he's healing for 14 points, which is great. All right. Looks like we have some mushrooms to pick. Alright. Well, doesn't look like there's much else here to explore. Except for a winding path. Where's that heading? Uh, looks like it's just heading. Of your attention. Oh, hey. What's that? Come on, get out of the way. That way we can loot. There's a little loot box. What's in here? Shards of the Knights Bracers. Okay. We'll definitely collect that. Alright, seems like that's it. Alright. Well, I can appreciate the game including some areas that aren't necessarily all full of excitement and adventure. Otherwise, you kind of just know that anything that appears is worth doing. Oh, that's an interesting tip. Somebody in chat just mentioned that you have to toggle on mobility. That's kind of odd.
All right, so it seems like I have solved up that particular problem, at least for the time being. I'm going to the kingdom map because it said I had an exclamation at some point in time, but now I can't seem to find it. So I'm not seeing anything here. My projects look like they're all in good shape. My regions... Still don't have an advisor to fill as treasurer. Doesn't look like anything unusual on the map. Yeah, I'm not sure where that exclamation point was actually coming from. I'm not seeing any sign of it kind of anywhere. Just kind of exploring some of these areas. In the previous map, every time I tried to go anywhere where I currently am, it <clears throat> there was a bunch of fog that turned me back. So a lot of these are kind of areas I haven't been able to explore up to this point. wolf. This is my path. Well, don't hesitate. What you want? I'm trying to set up some charges here. Charge! Before they can really react, I'm trying to get up there and smack them. There we go. Relatively decent. I wasn't quite expecting so many wolves back there, and now I'm in the middle of the bad guys. Alright, everybody. Let's focus fire a little bit. Let's snowball the alpha. Could throw some rage at this problem. They go down. Need to take this alpha down before it does serious damage to the party. It has a ridiculous number of hit points. Get some precise shots for some of those back rank members, I think. dead wolves. <laughs> Alright. We have a lot of wolf pelts and not much else. Could be worse. 
All right. Let's keep going up this way here. No stopping now. An ancient bridge. I'm gonna be careful and safe, just in case. Everybody should be wearing a wolfskin coat. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, that's certainly just a bridge. Glad to glad to be able to cross it. <laughs> Was this a uh, whole giant map just to fight some wolves? Certainly, kind of looked like it. Yeah, I'm not sure if there wasn't uh, anything uh, else hiding on that map. I didn't really go looking for it. it seemed like too big of a map to just kind of wander around the wilderness, fight some more wolves. Yeah, well, that's what it is. It's a nice lake over there. Resting would be nice, don't you think? All right, well, now I've got a red flag that's come up again. Let's see what that is. An event. New merchants have arrived. All right. Seems to me like I should make my way back to the capital. I'm feeling like I almost just need to let some time elapse. It doesn't feel like there's uh, any pointed goal other than just kind of generic exploration right now. I'm hungry. When we stop. I have very few build points in the treasury, but I might as well collect that while I'm here. We should gather our strength. Yeah, we can we can gather our strength in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking I probably need to advance some time, but uh, first I'm going to rest because everyone's uh, fatigued. I should probably get that done. Yeah, this has been kind of an interesting night. I don't really feel like it's been momentous. It's been more about r learning the ropes, um, which is certainly useful. But a uh, bit of a come down after the uh, uh, kind of incredible fight against the uh, Stag Lord of the previous weeks. So it looks like most of my advisors are out doing things right now. I've got some left stuck here. Event-wise, I've got an opportunity, Merchants in the Capital, who I need to go talk to. And then I've got a couple things that just need to wrap up. This doesn't end for 15 days. This doesn't end for seven. And this ends in two days, that's good. Oh, all right. Well, the merchants are here. I need to go visit them. All right. I'm going to skip one more day and let something resolve. Here we are. Oh, no. It didn't pan out. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. Thanks. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> I do want to do this, but I don't want Harem to do it. I want Jahud to do that. 
Because it seems like that is really kind of his thing. I should probably send someone out to do this. But once again, this seems like another thing I should save for Jehud. Speaking of which, Jehud is the one our Tristan's out on that. Is Jehud one of my advisors? That's an interesting question. Oh, I see. So if I make Jehud, now I can send Jehud out to do things. I see. All right. Oh, I was just doing that wrong. All right. Hey, thanks for the thanks for the catch, chat. It's really handy. So okay, I can't do that now because I don't have the necessary uh, things. But I can send Jehud to work with the High Priest of Arasto from Rustoff. That seems good. Yes, let's do that. All right, very good. Okay, let me go talk to some merchants. That's bound to go well. All right, back in my throne room. That's all taken care of. Plenty of people here to chat with. Chat with the new merchants who have set up shop. See how things are doing. So yeah, I didn't realize that the people have to be appointed as your advisors if you want to be able to send them on things. That's it's an interesting limiter. Yeah, I saw that the the 1.1 beta for this game has been has been opened up. Uh, I'm kind of sticking with the experience that everyone can have, just because that's what my game currently kind of is. Um, I also, uh, the, the patch notes for it look quite extensive, but uh, they also look like the sort of thing that uh, uh, might be filled with spoilers, so it's kind of hard for me to analyze whether or not it's something that I need or be interested in adding. What are these new merchants? I don't know. Ah, the traveling merchants. Here they are. Alright, so the traveling merchant has some different and interesting items for me to buy, it looks like. Elven curb blades, a plus two longsword, that's not bad. Oh, that is tempting, but man, that is a lot of my money. Some good stuff in there. Ah, Temple of Abadar and Absalom. Can always use more clerics. Uh, some scrolls. All right. So I have a new scroll merchant. That's certainly very useful. Plenty of scrolls in here to look at. All right. Oh, an ASMR. Interesting. ASMRs are, uh, have the blood of both humans and some sort of angel or uh, divine being flowing through them. Hmm. 
Alright, well, we've got a new cleric in town selling scrolls. That's always sort of super handy. A traveling merchant. I think I've got a couple uh, odds and ends here that I need to sell off. Uh, a bunch of furs. So I'll make those go away. I've got rid of all the junk. All that I'm left with now is a couple bits of food and stuff that I have to offload. Nothing too complicated. All right. Well, it looks like I have had a very fine day of exploration here, wandering around, but I'm kind of unsure what to do next. I want to do some research and look into that, but... I think I'm going to save that for another stream, so I want to thank everybody for uh, watching here tonight. It's been an enjoyable time. A little slow-paced, kind of learning the ropes of kingdom building, but I hope it's been enjoyable. Um, these rules are really interesting. They, um, they were designed for Kingmaker, but uh, we adapted them for Ultimate Campaign. Um, so they're similar in many regards, and to me they feel familiar, yet they're different in a lot of ways. So for me, there's a bit of a learning curve here that I'm still trying to work my way through. Um, I hope that's been fun to watch. Uh, I'll keep it up. Uh, it looks like I'm on a timer now for a couple of interesting events, and maybe in the next stream we'll get that curse going and see where that's leading us. That'll be on Saturday at 4 p.m., so if you're interested, tune back in then to watch. Uh, make sure to uh, follow this channel if you want to get updates and subscribe. That really helps. Uh, let me know that I'm doing the right thing. So, thank you very much, and I hope you guys have a fine evening. We will see you Saturday for more adventures in the Stolen Lands.